massage techniques to work on the low back as well as the legs and these techniques are going to help relieve and alleviate low back pain a little bit of sciatic as well as any kind of leg pain or tension as well so we'll get started by warming up the back and i like to use just nice open palms to press on either side of the spine that help support and hold the back up and as we get down into the mid and lower back we're starting to work on some of the QL and the low back muscles so I'm going to come all the way down to the sacrum here and it's nice just to give a little sacral downward push so kind of rocking your hands down it's almost like you're helping them tuck their tailbone. And we can even press on the top parts of the glutes, just under the hip bones. This feels really nice. And we'll do a pass back up the back. Again, working on either side of the spine. And this gives you an opportunity to gauge what kind of pressure the person likes as well as start to gather some information about where they carry tension on the second pass down I like to go ahead and switch to loose open fist so you don't want to be clenching your fist so it's really just nice and loose and I'm using the flat part of my fingers right here Again, staying to either side of the spine. And this allows you to apply a little bit deeper pressure. So if the open palms felt great to your receiver, you can stay there. So if you're looking to give a little bit more pressure, this is a great way to do that. And then working the top parts of the glutes again just underneath the hip bones and you can even come out pretty wide pressing into the glutes and sometimes I'll do a little bit of twisting motion like I would be opening a door handle and this just creates a little bit more of a dynamic sensation for the work I'm going to come back up to above the hips now and then work on either side of the spine coming a little bit wider into some of these bigger low back muscles you can keep using your open fist if that feels good making a couple passes up and down or we can come and use our forearm so I'm using my right forearm to work on her left side so it's kind of crossing over the body and again trying to stay off the bones so we don't want a lot of pressure over the bones it's more working into this muscle belly that runs like this and with your other free hand you can just stabilize against your forearm or maybe you want to alternate with another fist work into the glutes focused work using our fingertips so I'm just going to melt my fingertips towards the spine and then with my opposite hand I'm going to press towards the midline so you're kind of stabilizing this movement and then we'll just hold and I encourage the recipient to take some deep breaths this helps the muscles relax and also empowers them to use the expansion of their breath to press from the inside into your fingertips. And we 
we can move down a little bit, coming closer to the edge of the hip here. Again, still supporting on the opposite side with our open hand. And just kind of making a few small movements to really try and pin the, the tension. So looking for the tightest parts. And I'm really staying super close to the edge of the hip here. So on a lot of people, the ribs, the lower ribs, the floating rib, you won't have very much space that you're working in. So kind of just trying to navigate how I can come up from the hip, but then sort of carve and curve down into those muscles. And after I've done a few points there, I just want to smooth everything out. Because after you do some deep focused work, it just feels nice to kind of have a, a broader pressure. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side here. So coming through and using our forearm, we'll press and rock our body weight. low back muscles. Maybe I use my fist on the glutes while I'm doing that. So depending on how big the person is, um, you know, if they're smaller, you don't need to make as many adjustments. If they're a little bit larger or really tight down here, you might need to kind of scoot your body back a little bit so you have more leverage to lean in. just kind of work on both sides again creating that continuity just nice open palms pressing over that area and then we'll come to work on the glutes a little bit more so we can use our forearm again crossing over to lean our weight into the glutes. Depending on how tight they are down here, maybe they're a runner, an athlete, this area gets kind of tight on them. You can begin to kind of lift and roll your arm to create more direct pressure. So it's almost like I'm doing a bicep workout with a weight here. And what that does is it puts more focused attention and pressure into my elbow. So I'll do a few bicep curls and then I'm going to come into the outer part of the glute. leg. Sometimes I kick out my legs so that I have a little bit better base support here. And I'm just using my open loose fist to travel down the outside of the leg. So we're really working on IT band here. And then as we get to the back of the calf, I'll open up my hand and just press down the back of the calf. You can also do some kind of scooping and squeezing motions underneath the calf as 
as well as to the outside of the leg. And depending on kind of what direction you're applying the most force, you'll either be working on the top of the leg more with your thumb or on the bottom of the legs if you're kind of pulling up on the hamstring. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. So using my forearm, pressing into the glute. I'll do my bicep curls, bringing more focused attention into my elbow and pr more pressure on that area. or spend a little bit more time finding those tight spots. Maybe their legs are really sore from a workout or something. So you can cover that a couple more rounds before coming back up to the center. And then sometimes I like to come and just do kind of small thumb circles on the sacrum. It just feels really nice because there's so many ligaments and tendons that are kind of in this area. It just feels really yummy to have some focused attention there. You can even carry that motion of doing some nice thumb circles up either side of the spine to the erectors as you walk up. flamingo stance with my legs and I actually really like to hook my foot around my the back of my opposite knee just because I feel like it gives me more support but some people like to have it out it doesn't matter and we're just gonna lean into those glute muscles so again trying to stay off any bony landmarks looking for the meatiest part of the glutes passes on one side and then switch legs and then we'll do the same thing on the other so I'm using her shoulders to just kind of help balance my weight so my hands up there aren't really doing anything kind of actively therapeutic but it helps me from not falling over Using the knee is definitely going to give a lot more pressure. It's a broader pressure. But if people are tender in their glutes or sensitive, you do want to be aware that this is probably not a good technique to use for them if that's the case. So a lot of sciatic pain comes from tension in the low back or in the glutes slash piriformis. So we're really looking to relieve a lot of tension in that area so that you can help relieve that pain. And then we can bring our hands down to kind of 
smooth out that work we just did. Sometimes I'll even just press down where it's on the hips. And sacrum again. Kind of creating that natural tuck to the tailbone. And then we'll slowly walk our hands. it's good to do a balance session so if you checked out some of my other videos you'll see some great techniques for the upper back thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this video you can check out more in this series as well as hundreds of other videos at wellnessplus.tv and if you want to find out more about me and my practice you can visit mirahoffman.com or serenitywellness.us. Wishing you all the best. Goodbye. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv, get well, feel better.